on, let's discuss Ed Morrow since he apparently can't keep my dick out of his fucking mouth. So firstly, this dude has never been initiated into a baron or anything else. There's actually a video up by Boko Elmira where you hear Ed begging him to teach him. He's telling him your pockets will never be empty, you'll never you'll have a student forever and all this other bullshit. Ed has realized he's been outed as a fucking fake many times over and will never be welcome in any Haitian or Vodan community. A real Boko or real Voodoo Essant doesn't act like Ed is acting. Ed is the rejected, retarded child of Vodan. I'll put a link in the description of him begging Boko Elmira for teachings and fucking getting rejected. So if you go to Boko Elmira, He's the real deal. And this is who Ed is attempting to emulate and copy. But the thing is, Elmira doesn't chase clout like this fake white bread Boko. In fact, every time Boko Elmira talks about Vidan or mentions a certain ritual, you'll see Ed speaking about it the next day of his, as if he's mastered it. And he doesn't know what the word is, what the fucking ritual is. So, I'm going to discuss with you why the fuck he's bringing up my name. So, firstly, he's he's too much of an idiot to know what a fucking spoof, spoof email is at this point. It should be obvious who the fucking spoofed emails come from at this point. Like, the first time I said fucking stop believing in spoof emails, he actually moved on and apologized to my surprise and left it alone for, you know, for about fucking eight months later. He gets more dumbass spoofed emails and apparently the trolls have just been <laughs> driving this motherfucker crazy. And at this point, I honestly believe no one's that fucking stupid. I honestly believe he's sending those fucking fake emails to himself to clout chase so he can claim the cabal was after him and when nobody knows who the fuck he is or much less gives a fuck. He's doing that dumb shit so he can say, oh, the cabal is cursing me and I'm not dead and chasing clout. So this fake ass white bear called me a fucking pedophile and many others, VK and Michael Heisen. And Michael Heisen went so far as to post a background check on, him, on himself to disprove his bullshit, which to be quite honest, he didn't even need to fucking do, you know. Turns out Ed pulls this shit with anybody he doesn't have dirt on, so he tries to manufacture lies about him. He's done this to, like, 20 different fucking people. Like, uh, one of his recent lies that he took down, he took a picture of me from my younger days uh, when I was exhausted and fresh out of ritual, and claim I lost my dreads when it was like five, six years ago. And when I called him out on that lie and laughed at his ass in a post, he took his post down trying to save face as if nobody saw his fucking stupidity. You can't take a picture of me as a, as a youngin and claim you curse me when I, nor you, was in the public eye, Ed. That's just, that's just fucking pathetic. Now, watching Ed... He is extremely fucking desperate for any kind of clout and money. Just don't feed into him. I saw his little video. I've got like 10 other fake racist white breads doing the same stupid shit he's doing for clout. Talking shit about uh, mamas and all that other dumb shit. Like, like he's talking like a fucking uh, elementary kid throwing a fucking tantrum. And if that's the case, I'm a fucking college professor that sees what he is. This dude is completely fucking beneath me and everybody else he's mentioned. This dude lost his wife, kids, and five months ago he was ranting about nobody supporting him and paying his bills when his fucking lights and shit was about to get cut off. And this dude think he's fucking winning. He thinks he's a fucking boko. He's never been initiated. You'll commonly find him chasing clout, claiming shit that he had nothing to fucking do with. One of those instances is uh, he claimed responsibility for Joshua Savage's death 
and he didn't know him. He didn't, they never spoke or any of that shit. He also recently tried to claim responsibility for VK Jahanam's channel getting taken down with magic. If that's not some delusional shit, I don't know what the fuck is. He doesn't even have to know the person if he sees it on Facebook or in a spoof email. He'll claim it chasing fucking attention. So, Ed, if you were a real voodoo song, you'd have realized I washed your hands. I caught your eyes. You would have realized what I took from you. You have nothing and you will be nothing. You could take me to the altar for the rest of your life. To that fake ass altar you have and talk shit and you'll never get anywhere. As far as I'm concerned, Ed, shit. You're just a fucking alcoholic crackhead with fucking mental illness and missing teeth. Stop chasing fucking clout. Mimicking and stealing Boko Amira's work. And drop that fake ass fucking Google Translate Creole because the shit is obvious. As for anybody else, if you receive fake emails, don't be it. <laughs> it's the same people who have been butthurt and fucking cursed for five and a half years. The same fucking people who were confused, who thought the Cabal's entities were egregores, and then it was D&D &D entities, and now the latest bullshit is o 9 a They've been confused and will remain confused as long as those curses are fucking on them. So from what I've managed to gather and seen is usually someone who can't afford me. And this is the only way they get rid of their enemies. They send fake bullshit as well. See through the bullshit, move on, and laugh at the shit like I do. It's weak attempts to bring fucking drama my way or the cabal's way. They just bring bullshit in general. People are losing their fucking minds due to fucking quarantine. And their intelligence seems to be drained. So, if you see this fucking dumbass keyboard warrior and all these fake spiritualist drama, keep on your path. Keep doing as I'm doing. Blessings be upon you. I'll see everybody next time.